March 25th. The reading is entitled, Obedience. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am but clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yielded and still. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. 1 Peter 1 verses 14 and 15 What does God require? Perfection, nothing less than perfection. But if we would be perfect, we must put no confidence in self. Daily we must know and understand that self is not to be trusted. We need to grasp God's promises with firm faith. We need to ask for the Holy Spirit with a full realization of our own helplessness. Then, when the Holy Spirit works, we shall not give self the glory. The Holy Spirit will graciously take the heart into his keeping, bringing to it all the bright beams of the Son of Righteousness. We shall be kept by the power of God through faith. When we are daily under the control of God's Spirit, we shall be commandment-keeping people. We may show to the world that obedience to God's commands brings its own reward, even in this life, and in the future life, eternal blessedness. Notwithstanding our profession of faith, the Lord, by whom our actions are weighed, sees but an imperfect representation of Christ. He has declared that such a condition of things cannot glorify Him. It means much to commit the keeping of our soul to God. It means that we are to live and walk by faith, not trusting in or glorifying self, but looking to Jesus, our Advocate, as the author and finisher of our faith. The Holy Spirit will do its work upon the heart that is contrite, but never can it work upon a self-important, self-righteous soul. In his own wisdom, such a one would mend himself. He interposes between his soul and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will work if self will not interpose. Where is our dependence? Where is our help? God's word tells us, The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. John 14, 26. The Holy Spirit is ready to cooperate with all who will receive him and be taught by God. All who lay hold on the truth and are sanctified through the truth are so united with Christ that they can represent him in word and action. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.